The movement of this clock shows how Azurus Fromentiel move forward and refine the mechanics and cases of clocks whenever possible, in contrast to the Dutch makers who remain content with the formula established by John Fromentiel for Costa in 1657-8. The movement is of a very early type, with the plates secured by ten turned knot pillars riveted onto the back plate and latched on the front plate, which divided to allow the taking down and setting up of each of the two trains separately. The hour striking is via a small outside count wheel driven by a small four-pin pinion from high up on the striking train. Both trains are of five wheels, resulting in anti-clockwise winding, while the pinions on the intermediate centre and pinwheels have 16 leaves, providing the very early neatly proportioned trains. The father and son Fromentiel team quickly appreciated that by reducing the size and the number of teeth on the steel pinions, together with more but smaller teeth on the brass wheels, and they could save a complete stage in the movement trains, a considerable cost saving. Their new four-wheel train layout was copied first by all the London clockmakers and then throughout the country and the greater clockmaking world. The Norfolk here has a verge escapement with a conventional pallets and bob pendulum. But the front pivot of the Verge Pallet Arbor is mounted well above the top of the plate with a stand-up cock, and the back pivot is held and run between two roller wheels within an oval-plated subsidiary, assembled to reduce friction, known as a roller cage, all in place of the conventional back cock. As committed Protestants, neither Fromentiel believed that they should apply for patents for their inventions as they were a gift from God.